Hello, it is Foundation of Friday, February, February. It's March 18th, 2022. Steve Cypress here. Another gorgeous, beautiful day with a beautiful, nice breeze here in the mid 80s here in sunny Scottsdale, Phoenix, Arizona area. Today, we do another deep dive into the magic of thinking big, fantastic foundational book by Dr. David J. Schwartz. We're at the end of the chapter, You Are What You Think You Are. And, oops, gotta go back a little bit. Hang on, always challenging to flip the page one-handed. Uh, there we go. Ah, okay, so, gotta move back forward. I'm uh, not gonna read word for word, but I'm gonna uh, pull out a couple of points here that Dr. Schwartz gives us at the end of the chapter, and he's talking about the number one most important sale you need to make as a business owner, because we all know as business owners, entrepreneurs, we are in the world of selling. We gotta sell our ideas. We gotta sell people on doing what we want. We gotta sell our products or services. We gotta sell business partners, sell suppliers on getting the best deal, on and on and on and on. The most important sale you will ever make is to sell yourself on yourself. And Dr. Schwartz shares two ways how to do that. Number one is to give yourself a motivational talk. Now, have you ever heard a good motivational speaker who got you all excited? Uh, Tony Robbins or any of these kind of motivational speakers? Well, uh, you can uh, read Tony Robbins' books and other motivational books. You can listen to recordings or watch videos of them. You can go to conferences where they speak, or you can simply give yourself a motivational talk. Get really good at motivating yourself. You say the same words, only say them to yourself. So a motivational speaker at Tony Robbins or whatever will say, you can do it. You are, you are somebody, you know, there was an SNL, a Saturday Night Live sketch on that years ago. Uh, you know, guy would look into the mirror and say, I am somebody. I love myself. I'm a good person. Well, that's what you can do. You don't have to wait until somebody else does it for you. You can do it, and you can do it consistently. You can do it as often as you need. If you're in sales, do it before every single sales call. If you are uh, about to have a big meeting with a potential business partner, do it right before the meeting. If you are on and on and on, right before you do whatever you think is important to you, wouldn't you like to have Tony Robbins right there with you going head into that boardroom and make your pitch to those investors and you're, you can do it, you're going to get those funds, you're going to grow the company. Well, do that to yourself. Do it as often as you need until it becomes ingrained into just who you are. You now just believe it. You don't need to pep yourself up with pep talks anymore. The number two way to do it, oh, by the way, uh, uh, Dr. Schwartz gives a caution here that most people have negative self-talk. We've spoken about this throughout this chapter and throughout the book, The Magic of Thinking Big. You know, people like to live in fear and uncertainty and worry, and certainly you get that. I mean, just turn on the news, turn on social media. I mean, for the last few years, you... You could choose to be afraid that you might die if you stand too close to somebody. Oh, I'm, I'm within six feet of somebody. I could die or I could kill my grandmother. I, you can live in all kinds of that ridiculous fear. Uh, you could think, oh, my neighbors could kill me. I better put a piece of cloth on my face. That'll do it. Like you could live in all kinds of fear. Uh, you, right now, you can live in all kinds of fear, like, oh, gas prices are going to go up to $10, and then what are we going to do? And I might lose my job, and the government is going to crush another industry and have another lockdown and another shutdown. And another, They're going to call my business non-essential and put me out of business or let me operate at only 25%, or I have to inject cocktails of crap into my body just to be able to go out to eat. or whatever. And you can be in all kinds of fear and uncertainty and... You can live that way. I mean, you know, if you ask me, it's pretty certain that governments are going to crush people. That's what governments do. They serve themselves, big governments, they serve themselves, and they crush uh, people that aren't their friends or their donors or, you know, but that's another topic for another day. So uh, moral, as Dr. Schwartz shares, is to practice uplifting. 
self-praise. Don't practice belittling self-punishment. Don't think and dwell and talk to yourself about fear. Oh, I have a big, big presentation to give. You know, I, I'm nervous, I'm scared. What if I screw up? What if I, no, none of that. Like, I know what I'm doing. I'm excellent at solving this problem for these people. I'm really good at it. And the next time I talk to somebody that has that problem, I'm gonna be absolutely certain that they should choose me to solve that problem because I'm great at it. Now go have that sales call. Make sense? Okay. Um, as Dr. Schwartz continually says, you are what you think you are. Think more of yourself and there is more of you. Second thing he suggests is to build your own sell yourself on yourself commercial. This will be a simple 30, 60 second message. Four steps to it. Number one is list, uh, think of uh, all your best qualities, all your assets. You're writing a commercial for yourself as if you would write it for a company for a product or service. You would write a sales letter. You would put out a sales message or write a sales email or put up a website or make a video to sell your product or service. This is to sell yourself on yourself. So first thing is list all the assets that you have, all your areas of superiority. What are you really, really good at? What are your best qualities? And as Dr. Schwartz suggests, don't be shy in describing yourself, just like you wouldn't be shy describing a product or service that you had to sell, whether it's yours or somebody else's. Don't be shy in listing your best qualities and describing yourself. Number two, put those down on paper or type them out on a computer or whatever you do, and you will be writing out your commercial to you. You'll be talking to yourself. You'll be selling to some prospects or strangers or current clients or customers or patients or members or whatever they are to you. You're selling yourself on yourself, so you want to talk to yourself and be very direct. Don't think of anyone but you as you say your commercial. Number three, practice your commercial out loud in private at least once a day, and it helps if you do it before a mirror like we talked about. Put your body into it. Repeat your commercial forcefully with determination. Make your blood travel faster through your body. Get yourself all warmed up. Practice your commercial at least once a day to yourself. And step four, read your commercial silently several times every day. Especially read it before you take on anything that demands courage. Read it every time you feel let down. Keep your commercial handy at all times. Write it out, keep it in your wallet, your purse, your desk drawer, tape it up next to your monitor uh, where, you, where you log in on your computer and you do your work or up on your office wall. Keep your commercial handy at all times and use it. And the final piece of advice Dr. Schwartz gives us is how a lot of people, maybe even you, maybe a majority of people, kind of laugh at this self-success rewarding technique because they refuse to believe that success truly comes from managed thinking. So Dr. Schwartz is urging all of us, please do not accept the judgment of average people. You are not average. If you have any doubts as to the basic soundness of the sell yourself to yourself principle, ask the most successful person you know what he or she thinks about it. Ask him or her, and then start selling yourself to yourself. And that'll do it. For Foundation Friday, March 18th, 2022, Steve Cypress over and out. We'll be back again next Foundation Friday as we wrap up with a, uh, a recap of this chapter in The Magic of Thinking Big by Dr. David J. Schwartz. And I'll be back tomorrow on Social Media Saturday. I'll have a tip how you can make more money for your business, have more fun, more success using social media. Catch you then, over and out. Bye-bye.